Hi guys, so le now let's have a look at an evaluate question. These evaluate questions are difficult, certainly. Uh, we've got 12 marks available, as we can see on the mark scheme on the right-hand side here. Uh, we've got Malik, who wants to buy a house in five years' time. Fine. Uh, he's got some money, which he's inherited. Plus, it looks like he wants to save £50 a month. Okay, fine. Uh, so let's now consider... Uh, the question just skim across this information we can see we've got these different products uh, that are available the interests and charges together with the features outlined so let's have a look at the question this is really the way that I would suggest you go about looking at the questions in response to a lot of information that you have a quick skim across the actual um, nature of the content information that we've got up here and then you look at the question and then try to pick out that really relevant information okay so it says evaluate which financial products would be the most suitable for Malik and we can see this student has achieved 6 out of 12 once again that that should really help to reassure you that you don't need a perfect uh, answer every single time in order to uh, give yourself a real shot at getting a distinction grade as I've said this student got a distinction um, but you don't need to necessarily respond to every question perfectly of course okay so bearing in mind the information that we have here we can see that we've got stocks and shares ISA, we've got cash ISA, fixed rate bond and f uh, another fixed rate bond and the different interest rates and the different features of each of these uh, which once again are highlighted on our mark scheme if we come down to the second page of our mark scheme well we can see therefore that uh, this student is uh, top level two in terms of uh, their response they've demonstrated accurate knowledge and understanding of relevant information with few omissions uh, there's evidence of applications they've actually applied this information that's really important uh, the evaluation is presented leading to conclusions but some may be lacking support uh, and in addition to this it demonstrates the use of logical reasoning clarity and appropriate uh, specialist language okay fine uh, so let's just come down and take a little look at what we've got um, okay so uh, really uh, what I'm really interested in here is do we have a really good conclusion a really good judgment uh, that's really what I want to pick out of this because if you just look at getting 10 to 12 marks on this sort of question um, you've got to uh, yeah make sure that all of that uh, knowledge and application is really sound that you've um, got a well-developed balanced and coherent evaluation so really the structure I would suggest that you use in re response to your judgments for your evaluation questions and you must do this for your evaluate questions is that you answer the question and justify your answer which is best which is the best product in this case and why then you say what that might depend upon okay so if you opt for him putting this money into the stock market well it may depend upon the actual state of the economy and when whether therefore the stocks and shares ISA continues to uh, rise in value um, so if there are any concerns about the state of the economy then you probably want to avoid that and then finally you focus on the most important point in relation to uh, the individual in this question so let's just go back up and pick that out for uh, Malik okay so we can see that um, he wants to make sure uh, that he has sufficient money uh, to use as a mortgage deposit to buy a house so really perhaps when it comes to the stocks and shares ISA he may be a little bit risk averse uh, towards that and not want to take on that sort of level of risk once again you may well want to have a go at writing out your own response here and trying to answer or put together a top grade answer okay uh, so I'll just highlight the uh, question at the bottom of the page there um, okay, thanks guys.